Hello, my name is John Mad Dog Hall and I'm the Executive Director of Linux International. I'm here today in the offices of the Milford Cabinet, a newspaper that was started in 1802 in Milford, New Hampshire. In the age before the Renaissance, the cost of information exchange was extremely expensive. That's because copies of information were typically done by scribes with ink and quill pen. Only people who were very rich and powerful could afford this type of information. And so the people who were kings and priests were the ones who could learn to read and write and therefore had access to this knowledge. The common person typically didn't bother to read or write. They rode into town, they looked for the picture of a horse's head, and they said, oh, that's a stable. Or they looked for the picture of a cobbler's boot and said, that's the place where I get my shoes fixed. However, in the year 1439, a man named Gutenberg brought together letters on individual blocks, put ink on them with a piece of paper, and the concept of the movable type printing press dramatically reduced the cost of information exchange. The age of knowledge exchange came about, and the sayings that the pen is mightier than the sword and freedom of the press took on new meaning. In our own country, the United States, people like Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Paine were printers and exchanged their information about freedom throughout the world by putting it onto paper. Today, the internet has reduced the cost of information exchange even more dramatically. Information can be put electronically and shipped around the world for a fraction of the cost of the printed page. However, it does bring a new danger. And that's the fact that 200 years from now, we might not be able to read the documents of today. We will lose the history that we have and the influences that affected us. This is why open document format is so important. We need to be able to document completely the format, not only of the textual documents that we have, but of the multimedia that we use, the picture formats, the video formats, and these should not only be open, but they should be freely usable by anybody, no matter how much money they have. They should not be encumbered by patents. They should not be encumbered by royalties. They need to be completely open and completely free. This is why we ask that you join with us in this battle to protect your freedoms and that you understand what open document formats and open media formats are all about. Thank you very much. My name is John Mad Dog Hall, and I'm the Executive Director of Linux International.